Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video about the most creamiest perfumes in my collection. I really really love like a good creamy perfume. Like I love powdery perfumes and I love really creamy perfumes. I do have a powdery perfumes video. Um, it's actually my most like video i'm gonna see if i can link it somewhere here and i might do an updated one um and you've probably seen i don't know which video goes up first maybe this one will go up first or the other one the bath and body works haul i don't know yet but i have changed my hair color again um so this is what i wanted originally and i found somebody that does hair really good get yourself like a russian or european hairdresser if you live in the united states because don't get me wrong if I say this, but most Americans don't know how to do hair except of like celebrity hairstylists or something like that. Um, yeah, I said what I said. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I feel like it looks really bright, but I also have the camera setting on like vivid and warm. That's just my favorite setting um, that way. Um, and I constantly debate, like my husband said, do a middle part, but I'm like a side part kind of girl, so I don't know, like what looks better, I don't know, um, trying to experiment what looks better, like what looks better, you guys tell me please, this <laughs> or this, I don't know, and now my hair is like all messed up, I feel like this is more me when I have it like that mm, so we'll just leave it like that for the video so let's jump in for the most creamiest and delicious perfumes so let's jump in with the first one and the first one is oh my god so creamy so delicious and it is Michael Kors Wanderlust Sublime I don't think I've mentioned this on my channel before um, so this one is Michael Kors Wanderlust sublime sublime i don't know mm. oh my god oh my god so good so creamy just so like round like when i think of creamy it's just like like lotion and creamy and warm and inviting and oh my god and i think i keep saying this about all of the perfumes that i have but i think this one is i'm not saying this for fun to anybody to buy this because I'm not making any money and nothing out of this um, but this one I think is discontinued you guys I think it's discontinued I bought it last summer and it was on clearance everywhere um, I don't see it at Ulta anymore but uh, I got this one on Amazon for like $30 I think this one is the 1.6 ounces I think 1.6 or 1.7 ounces um, 50 ml I don't know the, the batch code is right over where the ounces are um but this one let's go over the notes so this so. one is is similar to the original michael kors wanderlust which is also really creamy i should have uh, brought this one but i didn't put it in my basket because i feel like i've mentioned it so much that uh, you guys might be tired of hearing me um talk about it so this one in the top you have orange blossom in the mid you have tahitian uh tiare flower Carnation in amber and you probably hear my husband talk because he's working right now and I apologize for the background noise um so this one uh yeah those are the notes in anything that has tiare flower in it will give you just the most creamy perfume like anything with tiare flower is so so good um so this one is perfect for summer uh it's being compared to palm ford or the oh my god what is it tom ford something with blanc sole blanc i think uh it's a lot of bronze goddess um michael kors wanderlust uh holidays by mancera so if you can get your hands on this and you love a good creamy perfume get this you will not be disappointed uh you will be disappointed in the longevity though that kind of sucks so let's move on to the next perfume, um, which is very, very similar to the one that I've just mentioned. Mm, sorry, I'm getting the whiffs of the Wanderlust and I'm getting it in my mouth too. It smells good, but not super tasty. Um, so no other than Guerlain Terracotta. So I bought this one last time I went to Austria in September. 
and I got it for a really really good deal uh, online website called uh, Flanconi if you're from Europe you probably know this and I got it for like 41 euros I think um, and if you try to buy it here in the United States it's not very available and you have to buy it online and it's super expensive and this one is it's an older toilet and it's very similar to the Michael Kors uh, Wanderlust Sublime like I just said I'm repeating myself so let's go ahead and talk over the notes um, talk about the notes <laughs> top you have tiare flower coconut then you have bergamot in the mid you have jasmine elang elang orange blossom vanilla and musk and i've noticed uh when i see elang elang in uh, the note structure that it will add creaminess to the perfume as well like elang elang will give you creaminess in this one mm. oh my god Aspen's gonna kill me when he comes out here and smells all of these perfumes mm. it's a little bit more mature at the beginning um but once it dries down, it's going to be so beautiful. Can't wait to wear this uh, for summer and just on the beach, if I ever get to be on the beach on um, this summer. Um, but yeah, super beautiful. Uh, so the next one is going to be... Um, let's grab this one. So the next one is uh, Amani. Oh my god, you guys. It's also this container. <laughs> All the freaking perfumes that I have are discontinued. Jeez, um, sorry. I mean, you can still get these, you just don't get them in stores. You probably get them like on discount sites. So that really sucks, man. I gotta be more careful about that. Um, so this one is Amani C Fiori, and I actually have this one in my powdery perfumes, but something has changed. I know it's really crazy, but it. I don't think it's powdery anymore. I think it's creamy. It's like a sweet, creamy candy. Almost like, I don't know um, if you had those growing up. Maybe I can insert a picture right here. Um, those were like those little round uh, candies that you suck. They were like cream and strawberry or something like that. It reminds me a lot of these candies. And I have a backup bottle of this one. It's been discontinued, so I have to hold on to this one. And I love it. I have put on anything yet today. Should I put this one on maybe? Hmm? Oh, sure, why not? Mm. Oh, love it. Uh, yeah, let's go over the notes. Oh my god, I'm just talking. Make sure I'm recording. Like, that's always like my biggest fear in my camera overheating. Um, lines. So, in the top, we have black currant, green mandarin, nervoli, rose patchouli, oak moss, vanilla, and musk. Um, to me, not very sim a little bit. Well, actually, out of all of the Amani C's, I think this one is the most similar to the original Amani C, but uh, more girly and more sweet. Um, yeah, Amani C, absolutely gorgeous perfume. Since we're already talking about Amani perfumes, let's go ahead and talk about Amani My Way. And my shoes has changed so much. I don't know if the camera picks it up. It's supposed to be a pink perfume. But it's like this really gross looking gray greenish color. I really don't know if the camera picks it up. And this one is, yes, it's a fizzy perfume, but the tuberose in there, it's the bubblegummy tuberose, makes it creamy. Like anytime there's like tuberose in perfumes will uh, make it really, really creamy most of the time. And I cannot wait for spring to come so I can wear this one. Um, so in the top you have orange blossom bergamot, in the middle you have tuberose, Indian jasmine, Madagascar vanilla, white musk, and Virginian cedarwood. And I do kind of want the intense version. I've heard the intense version is also very creamy, um, but I just don't think it's necessary for me to have both because they are so similar. Um, so we'll see. Maybe I yeah, find it one day a really good deal at Macari. Um, but I have the 90 ml, so yeah, that's the, the perfume addict in me that's speaking right now. So that's Amani My Way, and the longevity on that one is pretty good for a fresh perfume. 
Um, so let's talk about Versace. So this one is Versace. Versace, I probably pronounce this completely like weird. Um, this one is Versace Crystal Noir. And this one is the Eau de Toilette. And that one, you know, everyone says that this is a very cold perfume. And it's right, but it's very creamy, like lotion-y. Um, elegant. Mature, but not like... You know when I say mature, I mean like, not in like a bad way. Um, people take you serious with this perfume. It's not like a, it's not a very playful perfume. And this, like I said, this one is the Eau Toilette. And the Eau Toilette is supposed to not have uh, coconut in there, but I can definitely smell coconut. Let me double check, it's the Eau Toilette. Yep, Eau Toilette. Um, so in the top you have violet, uh, black fig, black currant, jasmine tuberose, french or peony in the base you have sandalwood, cashmere and vanilla and heliotrope actually the violet and the heliotrope can make a perfume um, powdery but there's tuberose in there and french or peony um, to me in my opinion this is a very creamy perfume and um, I've noticed like in the perfume community creamy and powdery perfumes it's always up to the person what, what you think is creamy or powdery um those are just really creamy in my opinion and that's um there's such a crystal noir and the longevity is pretty pretty decent on that one i would say around uh, six hours and then we have um the next one is uh dolce and gabbana the one sorry i'm looking out the window i see my neighbor oh god she's looking up here do, 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 do. Uh, <laughs> so this one is Dolce & Gabbana the one and I just had like my brain just stopped yeah Dolce & Gabbana the one or the perfume I love this perfume um, this was like the perfume that got me started almost like with my perfume addiction and collection um, and this one is a very creamy vanilla and peach and like the vanilla in there is just so round and so creamy so well balanced um i love this one i i would love to have the essence i've heard the essence is a little bit um longer lasting this one is pretty long lasting already um i think this would be a great bridal perfume so let's check out the notes so actually like i said uh lychee mandarin orange bergamot lily plum jasmine lily of the valley then you have vanilla amber musk and vetiver I mainly get the vanilla and the um, um, the vanilla and the peach in this one, and it's just so beautiful. And even like the bottle, it's just so elegant. This is definitely one of my favorite um, Dolce and Gabbana perfumes. And the last perfume, um, of course, I had to mention my favorite um, one. This is Dior Addict, Green Leaf, Orange Blossom. Then you have jasmine sandbag and in the base you have bourbon vanilla and this one is the most beautiful creamy vanilla perfume on the market in my opinion um also a really good uh, perfume that's on my wish list is uh, perfume somali safanade i think it's called I barely hear people talk about this like oh my god safanade from perfume somali so good like i don't care about the delinas the safanade oh my god so so good not, not similar to this one actually a little bit similar to the original Chambon Cartier classic um, but Dior Addict I love this one I hope they don't like we keep reformulating this one because this one has been reformulated several times before already so I love it this is like my favorite perfume if you've been watching my channel for a while and I love this perfume uh, it's so gorgeous and definitely fall winter perfume so spring summer comes around this is not gonna be that great because it's gonna be a little bit nauseating during those months um so yeah those are the most creamy perfumes in my uh, collection at least i think so if you know any creamy perfumes um please let me know in the um, comments and also please let me know uh, your scent of the day if you're still here I really appreciate it and again please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I hope you're having a great day bye